Hey, what's up guys? So when I went into work last night, I noticed a problem with my car and figured I'd deal with it this morning when I got home. So when I went went into work, I tried to use my my uh, key fob to close lock my car up and it wouldn't lock. So I was, didn't know what was going on. I ended up just manually locking it and going in, but I noticed my dome light was on when I let, went in. So I was like, what the heck? Well, got home this morning and figured I'd deal with it. So I just wanted to show you. Door is closed and my dome light in there is on. We're gonna dig into it here. I drive a Honda CRV. And you know, for the most part, this has been a really great car. It's got about 210,000 miles on it. Really haven't had to do too much to it other than fix the AC once or twice or three times. But you know, one problem out of all the many problems that a car can have isn't too bad. It's way better than most other cars I've ever, well, pretty much all other cars I've ever driven. So one problem that I've noticed with this car that happens, this seat belt doesn't retract very well. You notice it kind of just hangs out here, right in the middle of my door jam. And when I close my door, it slams in the door. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Well, last night it was hanging out right in front of my little door switch here. And I can feel it. I can tell it broke the little piece in there, whatever it is in there that pushes the switch in. Well, we're going to dig in, see what we can do with it. We got the duct tape and I got the super glue. Better vote now on which one we actually use to fix it. This kind of goes well with our uh, current theme we're in the middle of right now, switches. We'll fix a, a car door switch and we'll fix a light switch in the house. We'll learn all about switches and how they work. All right, well, you know, something I had in the back of my head when I was digging into this is typically with a switch, you have a hot side and a neutral side. So your hot side would have positive 24 volts or I guess this is a car, so it had 12 volts. Kind of still in work mode since it just got off like an hour ago. But it's a car, so it has positive 12 volts and I'm guessing that's what this wire is here. There's only the one wire. No, that way you guys can see it. About as good as we're gonna get, but that, switch only has one wire on it so you notice this switch here it's got like a flat metal washer piece in here well this bolt screws in through that into the frame of the car so the other wire in my case is the frame of the car so this is our neutral or negative I guess on the battery terminal the whole frame of the car goes back to our negative on the battery so when this switch clicks it's connecting the 12 volts to the frame of the car and making that switch. problem is with just one wire on there I can't exactly just wire nut them together and wait until I get a new switch to install so failing that we'll dig in here and we'll see what's actually broken on this switch plastic little knobby broke off of the switch so that looks like a good job for some super glue let's try to super glue it guys it fixes everything if you can't get it with duct tape you get a super glue so what do you think guys is this gonna hold up should I go ahead and order another switch or see how well this works you know if I were a betting man I'd bet this will last maybe two days I better get on it and order a new switch because I highly doubt this is gonna last but we'll see maybe it does who knows guys who knows well I think the glue is about as dry as it's going to get and I'll always have to be real careful shutting the door from for the next few days until I can get a switch. Hopefully it doesn't cost too much. But maybe I'll do a little update later and 
we'll see how this fix holds up. Hopefully it at least work now. I don't know. <laughs> Not even positive it's even gonna work now, but we'll see, guys. We'll see. <laughs> now that that door switch is pretty easy to get to. Actually, kind of expected it to be in the actual door back behind me, but you never know with cars. Different engineers have different ideas about how to do it. I love engineers. They're my buddies. Unless they're not and they design stupid machines because I work on a lot of stupid machines too. All right, we'll uh, reposition and test this out. All right, guys, moment of truth. Let's try it out. Bummer. I don't think it worked, guys. Don't think it did. You know, then again, I didn't lock it. Let's try it again. Nothing guys, nothing. You know what? Troubleshooting 101 guys. Pretty sure I pushed my dome light and it's on because I pushed my dome light. Let's try it now. We fixed it. This is Life Meet Lightning. Here to bring a little lightning into your life. Alright guys, I told you I'd tell you a little bit about what I did to myself this week. There's a reason that I focus on electrical things on this channel, even though I'm an electromechanical maintenance technician. Guys, I hate machines. They bite. So I was working on a machine this week, and well, gravity happened, and it bit the end of my finger clean off. Like, for real. Underneath this bandage, it might look like a finger but it's only half a finger now. <laughs> so you guys can expect a uh, machine safety video coming up in the near future. Okay guys, be sure to smash the like button, like my finger, or what's left of it. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified of new videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to tell a friend. This is Life Me Lightning, you're bringing a little light. Oh, I already did that part. <laughs> Make sure you tell a friend because my 100th subscriber will receive my severed finger in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, be sure to smash the like button. Smash the like finger. button. Like my finger. Yeah. Yeah. What's left of it? Well, what's left of it? <laughs> <laughs> Are we still cold? No! Yes! <laughs> <laughs>